Hello fellow humans. Uh, doing something a little different today. It's a little sporadic. Um, so this is this is my sea bag. All right. As I mentioned before, being, having been in the service. So this this bag has been with me my entire career. Um, the first thing you get when you when you get to, to basic. Uh, very uh, very symbolic for me. Um, symbolically has carried a lot and physically has carried a lot through uh, deployments and just moving. Uh, it can carry a lot, it can hold a lot, um, and it's, uh, it's, it's a meaningful, uh, I guess is what I'm trying to say, it's a meaningful item. A former colleague of mine who I wish I had worked with him longer than I did, but I worked with him for a long enough time to really learn his character. Um, Stand-up guy. Um, just a rare, a rare type. Uh, one of those people that you, you remember and really sticks with you. Uh, I'm friends with him on Facebook and he shared a video this morning that really, really touched me. Um, and I just had to share it. So I, with his permission, um, I wanted to share the story. Um, I actually am not even going to give it an intro because the video speaks for itself. It's been a little while since I had to carry one of these on my back. <laughs> I joined the Navy in 1997. And since then, a lot of things have happened to me. But one of the things that has become very, very important to me is helping other people. There's a gentleman who, every morning when I go running, has been living under a small bridge, a very small bridge, and it's just really cover for him. And this gentleman is so considerate that each evening he gets there late, late enough to where nobody's really on the path. And he leaves there before 6.30 in the morning every morning, again, before there's a lot of foot traffic on the path. Doesn't have a whole lot. Definitely seems like he could use some help. So I've packed this thing up with things that mean a lot to me, that helped me out a lot when I was in the military. And I'm going to put this on my back today and go running with it, something I haven't done in a while. And I'm going to drop it off for him. And on the side here, just a little note that says, I hope this helps a little. Hang in there. People care. I care. You matter. No matter what he does with it, I hope it helps a little bit. Even if it just helps him get through the day. That's enough. Let's do this. It's been a little while since I went running with one of these on my back. <laughs> Feels good. <laughs> Well, I'm three miles in. I do a five mile run, which you hear in the background is the river. I love that. And just a few hundred yards away, I'm dropping off the sea bag. If you can make a difference to just one person today, or for your whole life, wouldn't that be worth it? Pray. Pray that helps. Pray that helps him find the thing he needs to get to his next season. He will get there. He will. So, I can personally attest that when you fill this thing up, it's heavy. Now, I don't know. <laughs> exactly what items he put in his bag but I do know that uh, whenever I've had it full for whatever reason it is very heavy and running a five miler is hard enough as it is uh, without having one of these suckers on your back so I just again I just think it speaks volumes about his character uh, the fact that he would uh, look out for his fellow citizen like that um, and um, the fact that he would notice the qualities of this person getting up at a certain time and going in at a certain time so that he doesn't disturb the the foot traffic making that journey with it on his back and then hand delivering it to this guy um, really just so inspiring and uh, 
you know, it, it, recently, especially as we're getting out of the political season, finally, uh, one of the things I've been talking about is community engagement and uh, finding ways to connect closer to home. You know, all politics is local. So it was just very inspiring and meaningful to me and, and well-timed, uh, again, given the fact that we're trying to get out of the political climate now. So I just had to share that, and uh, I hope that it inspires you to to take an action like that. Um, kindness for a random stranger can really go a long way, and I'm going to try to do the same myself. So have a great rest of your day, and uh, I'll be talking to you again really soon. And don't be afraid to question the consensus.